Hi guys, this is dental classes for you. Today, let's discuss the topic trigeminal neuralgia. What is trigeminal neuralgia? It is a disturbance of the fifth cranial nerve. It is also termed as tic doloru or Fothergill's disease or trifacial neuralgia. As the name suggests, trigeminal neuralgia affects the trigeminal nerve that is the fifth cranial nerve. Now, moving on to the etiology. Etiology of trigeminal neuralgia is a mystery as much as it has been for several centuries. Earlier, the proximity of teeth to the site of pain, particularly to the nerves involved, suggested that teeth might be the reason for trigeminal neuralgia. But, however, the extraction of countless teeth in an effort to cure the disease failed to accomplish that purpose. Finally, it was concluded that trigeminal neuralgia was most likely not dental in origin. Various theories have been introduced to explain the etiology of this disease. They include peripheral injury or disease of the trigeminal nerve or failure of central inhibitory mechanisms. Some cases are often idiopathic. Compression of trigeminal roots by tumors or vascular anomalies may also cause a similar kind of pain. The most accepted theory is the atherosclerosis of the superior cerebellar artery resulting in pressing and grooving the root of the trigeminal nerve. Also, the development of trigeminal neuralgia in a young person may suggest the possibility of multiple sclerosis. We now move on to clinical features. It is the most common cranial neuralgia, mostly seen in people older than 50 years of age and common in females. The pain is a searing, stabbing and lancinating type which is felt like an electric shock. In early stages, the patient often has mild symptoms. The early pain is described as pre-trigeminal neuralgia. It is described as dull, aching, burning or resembling a sharp toothache. Later, the pain becomes so severe that the patient lives in a constant fear of an attack. Many sufferers have attempted suicide to put an end to their torment. The patient is free of symptoms in between the attacks but the frequency of occurrence cannot be predicted. Most important point here is the trigger zones. Trigger zones are zones which precipitate an attack when touched. They are the vermilion border of the lips, the ala of the nose, the cheeks and around the eyes. The patient often goes unwashed or unshaved so as to avoid touching the skin over the trigger area. But it is not necessary that the skin be actually touched to initiate the painful seizure. Exposure to a strong breeze, eating, smiling, etc. can also precipitate it. We will look into the differential diagnosis. The unusual clinical nature, the presence of a trigger zone, the severe type of pain and the location of pain usually helps us in diagnosis. Common conditions which are mistaken for trigeminal neuralgia include migraine, sinusitis, the Costin syndrome, tumors of nasopharynx, then post-herpetic neuralgia and dental origin pain. Now, the patients with such characteristic history and normal neurologic findings may be treated without further workup. That is, laboratory findings are not essential. But elective MRI may be required to exclude any uncommon space occupying lesion or a vessel compression on the nerve roots. Finally, moving on to the treatment. Treatment options have been extremely varied over the years and degree of success not really outstanding. Earlier treatments involve peripheral neurectomy, sectioning of the nerve at the mental foramen or at the supraorbital or infraorbital foramen. The relief afforded here is temporary. Also, injection of alcohol either into a peripheral nerve area or into the gazerian ganglion and the injection of boiling water into the gazerian ganglion has been found to be beneficial in causing respite from pain. Later, surgical sectioning of the trigeminal sensory root by any of the techniques have come to be recognized as treatment of choice by many surgeons. Phenytoin is a drug found efficacious in many cases. It affords good control. Cessation of its use causes return of pain. Now, carbamazepine is actually used as a therapeutic challenge to the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia. 
Other newer procedures include microsurgical decompression of the trigeminal root and the gamma knife radiosurgery. So that's all about trigeminal neuralgia. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.